Good morning. I hope you guys don't mind me reading from my phone. Oh, go ahead. Um, let me start by saying my name is Kaylee Hollenbaugh. I'm also from Buffalo, New York. I've lived in Vegas for 11 years. Um, it hasn't been an easy start, but I've made it this far and I live a great life now. I have a nine-year-old son J named Jaden who I haven't seen in 58 days. I lost custody in 2014, not my parental rights. I have had a relationship with my son and visiting throughout the years of getting my life together. I completed everything asked of the courts and showed plenty of evidence of fitness. Temporary guardianship papers were signed behind my back. Me and my family alienated from my son for years. This has all been done obviously in front of the courts and behind the courts backs. On April 20th of this year in front of Judge Linda Marquise, I lost the trial in guardianship court. A trial that was very judicially abusive, I felt bullied. A trial that was based fully on lies, allegations, and manipulations. I thought that in a trial, you're not allowed to do the he said, she said thing, but I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a mother. The whole case was one-sided from the beginning. I have changed my entire life and always been a part of my sons. Always ready and willing, but alienated. They continued to illegally grant guardianship to someone who manipulated the courts and they ignored it and violated my rights because of my past, no matter what the person I am today. Also cost me thousands of dollars of debt and pain and suffering in violation of my parental rights. NRS 1598.205, appointment of short-term guardianship for a mild child by a parent, excuse me. Number four, shall not be appointed a short-term guardian for a minor child of the minor child has another parent. Letter A, whose parental rights have not been terminated which, <clears throat> I'm sorry, B, whose whereabouts are known, and C, who's willing and able to make and carry out daily child care decisions concerning the minor, which I am, and I have rights, and I'm not the only parent who suffers parental alienation in Nevada due to the Nevada Family Court's corrupt rulings. I plead for justice, for family courts say that it's their mission to keep families together for years, mine has been torn apart. Nevada courts say they try to ensure that the minor children have frequent association and continuing relationship with both parents. Nevada revised statutes 125C.001. In any custody case, the guiding principle will always be that ultimate outcome must be in the best interest of the child. With the recent passing of a dear friend, I realized time is irreplaceable. Parental alienation is not in the best interest of my child. Thank you for your time.